We rely heavily on water to run the farm, especially during the dry summers, but it can be hard to keep up with measurement regulations. Now there is an easier way to monitor water use. With water meters, you can track seasonal and annual consumption, and even detect leaks in the system. Some councils require you to measure your water every 15 minutes, which is a time-consuming task if you're doing it manually. Digital systems are installed at the point of take, where they record water usage and send the information directly to the council. You may also need to measure your stock water and dairy shed takes, but if you're not sure, your council will help you understand your requirements. There are also other things to discuss with your council. Like if you can't install it at the point of take or the length of pipe doesn't fit regulation, talk to them and they will help. The most important part of installing digital water meters is getting accurate data. Make sure your equipment is installed by a qualified person and follows the right requirements so you can get the most out of it. Once you've gone through all that, you can start enjoying the benefits of a digital water monitoring solution. The ability to track seasonal water usage and make improvements will result in saving energy costs and increased production. They'll also alert you if there is an issue or a leak, which means you can stop the pump before it becomes a major problem. It's important to understand how the technology works so you can get the most out of it. First, there is a water meter installed in the pipe and it's connected with a device called a telemetry unit. It's best to install any valves, backflow preventers or bends after you install the water meter to stop any turbulence as the water passes through. When you're deciding on a water meter, there are a few to choose from. The most common type of water meter available are electromagnetic meters, often called magflow meters. These are most reliable because they have no moving parts, can be mains or battery powered, and can be used on a wide range of pipe sizes. Another option is mechanical meters. They have a rotor in the water to record flow rate and do not need power to operate. They're more useful for small stock water takes because they wear out over time, but are cheaper than the electromagnetic meters. Ultrasonic clamp-on meters require power and are mounted on the outside of the pipe, making them the most cost effective. They measure flow velocity and indirect flow rates. Because of this, they usually need more frequent maintenance. You should always check the maintenance requirements over the life of the meter, because what they may seem like, the cheaper option, they may end up costing you more in repairs. When weighing up your options, I'd recommend going for one of the in-shed displays. That way you can check the flow rate in litres per second or cubic metres per hour. No matter which water meter you pick, once it's installed, you need to get it verified. This ensures it follows consent requirements and depending on the type of meter, you'll need to get it verified every few years. If you're still on the fence, it's good to consider all the benefits to adopting a digital solution for water monitoring. Water meter data can be used to track seasonal and long-term trends in water use. This gives a better understanding of the water use across the property. Having more accurate data helps you understand your current water usage and helps you stay on track. This is especially helpful in the current environmental climate. Long-term data can be used to pick up issues with groundwater pumps or screens, leaks in the irrigation or stock water system, or even a decreasing flow rate. This data can be used to solve future problems and improve your irrigation scheduling. You can even set up alerts that tell you when you're close to going over resource consent rates and lets you fix the problem before it happens. Water meters installed at dairy shed water supplies can be used to track water users per cow, giving you the opportunity to decrease this usage over time. It can help to chat with other farmers in your area to get a better understanding of what you need, or get in touch with your regional council and start discussing your options.